we are going to start out with a voltage regulator with a common collector transistor hooked up to it. First out, we start out with a common Zener regulator. Remember the Zener diode here. And a resistor here that uh, allowed only so much current through the Zener. Uh, VCC was here. Actually, the input from our power supply. Output from the power supply was there. We have a common collector, which means collectors hooked to. Let's put the load in right there. And let's hook this right there. We have now a situation where we have a Zener diode. VZ is right here. The Zener voltage, VZ. Um, and we have a voltage base emitter. Minus voltage base emitter is equal to voltage on the emitter of the transistor right here. Um, now as we look at this, the voltage at this point depends entirely on the voltage here. And the only way this voltage here on the Zener changes is when you get more or less current through this resistor here. Okay, Remember the bulk resistance of the Zener that we talked about was uh, pretty low, like 6 ohms. Okay, so if we look into this and see what our output impedance Z out is equal to whatever this R prime E is, plus um, resistance of the Zener over beta. Now, why didn't I add this one into it too? Well, that is in parallel with... Uh, um, what do we call that RS? Okay, with RS. However, if this is 6 ohms and this one is uh, 180 ohms, then this one is not going to make any, any or much difference in the circuit. If beta is 100, that makes this whole part of it uh, pretty small. So uh, resistance senior 6 ohms divided by 100. Um, if we're in the case of a 3055 here, a uh, big uh, transistor, you'd have a beta of maybe 25. Still, you're talking about a resistance here of uh, less than an ohm. So our prime E is basically uh, what Z out is. And our prime E, the more current you have here, the smaller our prime E is going to get. Um, this circuit is a voltage regulator because we have a set voltage here that will not change much and a voltage here that depends on the Zener voltage. You remember this Zener circuit we had uh, it was like 200, 250 microamps to uh, current through it to keep it going. And a lot of them only had a capability of 35 to 40 milliamps of current through it before you either burned it up or you took so much current off of it through this, what the Zener sees as the load as that, that um, you would run the Zener out of conduction. The Zener doesn't have to supply current to the load. It supplies base current to this transistor. Nice thing about base current to a transistor, it's awful lot smaller than a, like say, a 50 ohm load at 10 volts. Um, got to remember that this circuit is a DC application, not an AC application. We're not trying to do any amplification here. We are trying to set a DC 
voltage. Now, if RL changes, nice thing about this is this voltage doesn't change. Uh, unless RL gets way too small. And in this case, with an output impedance of R prime E, if you've got uh, an amp, and let's say half an amp of current, 0.5 amps, 25 millivol millivolts over 0.5 amps, you have a resistance of 50 milliohms. <laughs> don't use that very often uh, output impedance of this is extremely small so if you're looking at a 7 and equivalent circuit here for maximum power transfer this would be 0 0.05 ohms and actually you could use the uh, DC here instead of the AC 0 0.5 ohms your RL uh, would not change this voltage from here to here at all. At least nothing worth uh, uh, dealing with.